Hello and welcome to another episode of Reporting Depth Be Heard on day three of the Depth Be Heard libel trial, which happened in the building behind me, Fairfax County Court. So we had three witnesses today. The first was Christy Dembrowski, Johnny Depp's older sister, being cross-examined uh, by Amber Heard's team. Then we had Isaac Baruch, easily the most entertaining witness of the 2020 trial, and the less said about this afternoon's witness. Well, not the witness, it wasn't his fault. It was what he had to discuss, um, which, well, you will hear about in my park bench interview. I managed to corral Taylor and Krista, two Johnny Depp fans, to join me on the park bench to debrief the day's evidence, witnesses, and what we heard in court. Right, okay, I'll walk into shot like this. <laughs> <laughs> All natural like. Yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Park Bench interview number three. And we're going threes up this time because I've got Krista and Taylor who were in court today. Welcome to uh, my adopted Park Bench. Yeah. Just outside Fairfax <laughs> County yeah. Court. Well, I'm really glad that I found you because I didn't think I was going to have anyone else to talk to today. So I really appreciate it. Now, yeah. you were in court all day all today. Day. Yes. Yeah. It was, as we say in Britain, a game of two halves. Yeah. First morning good lively this afternoon a little different let's yes worry about this afternoon later and talk about this morning okay. we had the end of was it was it was christy, christy. on this morning yeah they, they wrapped up so christy long ago Dembrowski. yeah so she yeah. was she was cross-examined this morning mm -hmm. um tell me what you made of what amber heard's team didn't said to her man i don't actually remember of that part because isaac came on and it was like all right, I know. It's the elephant in the room, isn't yeah. it? I Isaac. Yeah. Isaac is something of a rock star, isn't he? Yes. I, I remember him from the 2020 trial, and he gave live evidence by video feed. Oh, and he was so natural yeah. and so funny. And and just, he just, he was a really interesting and engaging character. I yeah. think oh, that's, yeah. that, that, He's that's, genuine. yeah. yeah. Uh, he, he, he came across, um, well, he certainly was very different from a lot of the other witnesses. It's just being as neutral as possible. <laughs> um, and so I was really looking forward to seeing what he had to say today. And he didn't disappoint, did he? Oh, no, no. So tell me what you made of his evidence. Just just give us a bit of background, of course, because he... Or I'll, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. It's, okay. He uh, was a teenage friend of Johnny's, and he um, they were in bands or in the music scene around the same time. He started working in the Viper Rooms when Johnny owned it. And they've essentially been friends for more than 40 years. Oh, yeah. And a, and a really key moment in his life happened when um, he, it, uh, uh, Isaac became a painter. And um, Johnny got to hear about it and he asked to see one of his paintings. And then after seeing some of his paintings, Johnny said, right, why don't you become an artist in residence in, in one of my penthouse suites? and uh, we'll, we'll curate an exhibition of your work, um, which it was actually quite emotional when he told the story, wasn't it? it? Was. How, how that happened, yeah, because it it, he just you know, describes it as life-changing. Yeah, uh, and so uh, for, for a long time since then, Isaac has lived in properties owned by Johnny, and they obviously have a very, very close relationship. So you can obviously see what um, line he's going to take on this whole day, bar, but it was the way he did it, wasn't right. it? Go on then, tell, tell me about your impressions of Isaac Baruch. Um, Isaac was a larger life character, definitely in the courtroom. Um, he, he basically owned the courtroom as far as like, um, owning the space and his presence and stuff. Um, he radiated charisma, he did. didn't he? he? He's did. one of oh, the yeah. most He's charismatic there, people that, yeah. that I've seen. And, and you can understand, I guess, why, Johnny why Johnny really Warnton. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think a lot of people would like to have friends with <laughs> Isaac. I would yeah. be friends with that guy. Definitely. <laughs> He was really genuine in what he had to say, um, and especially when he started um, telling about his story where Johnny basically changed his life, it was, you could tell that it was really um, authentic, not like, you know, oh, well, yeah, you know, like some people kind of hem haw through it and stuff, but um, it, it made an impact. Um, and the other time he, you could really tell that he was genuine was when, I mean, he was genuine the whole time, but... Um, the other time that it was really impactful was when he was talking about um, the whole thing with Amber and how he just wants him to heal and stuff. And mm. he broke down and cried because yeah, it affects very everybody. Emotional. Yeah, um, th that made me emotional. Um, uh, Amber Heard's you know, counsel, sorry, I keep saying counsel, which is an English word. Amber yeah. Heard's attorney described that right. as a rant. Yeah, yeah, she described it as a rant and a rave. Um, it wasn't because she asked the question. She's like, so. I didn't ask a question that triggered that response or something, but yeah, uh, she definitely she, did. I don't even remember did. the exact question, but right. I just know 
his defense towards the question was most definitely valid. Right. I, I suppose looking at this from a, a slightly technical and boring legal perspective, he, he was there right. to talk about, uh, to give a character witness for Johnny, but also right. to talk about uh, bruises or alleged bruises right. on the face yeah. of Amber. Yeah. That was obviously one side of it. And, and, you know, he was absolutely adamant he never saw any marks or any bruises. Right. And then uh, the point from the other side was, well, how would how would you know how a woman conceals any damage done exactly, to her yeah, face? Yeah, exactly. And uh, and I think what he wanted to say was what he said in that that moment where where he did get very emotional, right. which was that he thought Amber Heard was lying that she'd created yeah, this right, lie. Right. Um, but of course the that the opposite side to that is is the point that the other side made, which was you know you don't know. Right. <laughs> which I don't know. So, but did you, did you, all right then. Here's the question. Did you see the value of having him as a witness? Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah, because he could attest to both of their characters and what was going on at the time, because um, he was there. And I think it was really relevant that um, he he could not only see like Amber's face and kind of like judge for himself. I mean, they lived the on light. the same floor. Yeah, they, they lived were, on like, the same living floor. Living right next to each other, basically. Right. And, you know, he would he would know them probably pretty well, both of them really well, especially Johnny. I mean, he knew him for 40 years, and, you know, I, I think that he would have the same um, welcoming, I guess, or openness to Amber as well, knowing that that's Johnny's, you know, I mean, he also did say that he like he also like fell in love with who she was. So it exactly. wasn't like he ever had anything against mm. her before. Right. He said he, she he had genuinely amazing teeth liked her and, and liked her. And, and you also get the impression that he would be who, himself in any environment right. that you put him oh, into. Yeah. Exactly. A, a, a burning building or a really or <laughs> right. a courtroom or, or anything. Yeah. He he was who. I, I mean, there's very rarely that I ever say you must go back and review the footage of a particular witness in a lengthy court case. <laughs> but I would recommend going to, uh, seeing what Isaac Baruch said Definitely. for a couple of hours right. this morning. In contrast to what happened this afternoon, and, and, and what happened this afternoon? It was really boring. Um, they, I guess they were talking to one of the people that worked in the building um, where they both lived. Yeah, about all the, the security where the footage. And, yeah, and reviewed the security footage, asked the same question, quite a few times oh in different ways. It's it's reviewed the footage, asked um, certain things to be expanded upon. But like, it was essentially eighty seven pieces of CCTV footage from what wasn't the same lift, but it started to feel like it after a while. And there was a building manager at the ECB, the penthouse yes. suites where um, Isaac and, and, and Johnny and Amber uh, lived, um, just asking if he could verify that this looks like footage from the ECB. Yeah. Which he did. Yeah. Just, 87 times. Yeah. <laughs> it just took him a really long time. It looks blurry. Does this look blurry? Is yes, it grainy? It looks, yeah. Is it grainy? Yeah, I, it I described grainy. this on British television yesterday mm -hmm. as the libel trial of the century. I was reviewing my opinion of that after hour three of the lift yeah. CCTV footage this afternoon. I mean, I know it's going to ramp up later. And I spoke to um, a journalist who's covered a lot of right. American trials afterwards, and he said that's all about getting that into evidence. But one thing that was made a huge amount of in the opening uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, salvos from uh, Johnny Depp's team was this fake punch. Yeah. So we thought we were going to see this fake punch, which which yeah. uh, Brendan Patterson had seen right. uh, at the time, uh, as had uh, other, Isaac Bruch just yeah. demonstrated yeah. Yes. the fake Isaac punch oh, yeah. during, yeah. during his evidence. Yeah. So we thought, yeah. right, okay, we're going to go through hours and hours of CCTV footage and see the fake punch. And, and the punch line to yeah. this afternoon was, oh no, we couldn't find the fake punch. We've lost it. Right, yeah. The attorneys didn't ask for it. Yeah. We all saw it, but no one subpoenaed it, so. Right. Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah. Very if interesting. you wanted to write a cliffhanger uh, with a big finale, that wasn't that, it. That wasn't it, <laughs> was it this <laughs> afternoon. <not> it. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. You know, when you start sort of walking, reviewing yeah. what you're doing with your life, I kind of got like that halfway through this afternoon thinking I've come 3,000 miles right, yeah. <laughs> to, Just watch to watch a man yeah. confirm that some footage is a little bit grainy, but <laughs> definitely from 2016. Right, and watch Johnny and Amber walk in, in Well, there corridor. is, I mean, this is the, that, that's what gave me some comfort yeah. halfway through, that at least Johnny and Amber were having to go through this as right, well. That yeah. Two Hollywood stars in the room next to me were also sitting there watching a man confirm that there was lift footage from 2016. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm, I know this is a deadly serious trial, and I know there's right. very, very serious themes right. aligned to it, but forgive me for, <laughs> for thinking that this afternoon 
there has to be a better way of doing that, doesn't there? There has to be. I mean, I, I, I sat through 10 days of evidence in, in the right, UK. Yeah, you sat through Nothing the whole thing. was as boring as that. Right. Trust yeah. me. And so. you got to watch her shove food in her face when she's supposed to ask a question. And, and did you and did you stuff? see the what the judge said at the very end of today? N no, what'd she say? I, I oh, you, have you gone by that stage? I was gone. I was like, right. I can't do this. Anymore. Right at the end asleep. of proceedings yeah. today, the judge looked at both parties and she just said, this trial is only only six weeks long, you are going to have to speed up. I mean, you, oh, you know, wow. she was visibly um, wondering why on earth she'd just have to sit through. <laughs> well, what, how three many hours. days are left? Because she's like, even though it's like so many weeks, it's like only Monday through Thursday. Yeah, exactly. Right. She said it's essentially, I think 21 days was the... Yeah, it's yeah. only like 21 days. Which sounds days. a bit short, but she must, she must know what she's talking right. about, unless I've misremembered it. But um, she said this trial will be over by Memorial Day, right. or, or the evidence side of it. Right. So... Um, that was a warning to both parties that whatever system they've come up with for up. reviewing evidence, yeah. they need to ramp it up. So oh, yeah. um, one thing that I'm desperately embarrassed about is I still haven't been able to find out who is giving evidence tomorrow. Have you heard any word? I haven't heard anything no, of actually, you. I don't know. No, I've emailed no. both parties to see if we can get some clarity mm -hmm. on it. But actually, this is something that well, is quite technical and probably not that interesting. But in the English trials, mm -hmm. you have a witness list. They go in that order and, that, and jobs are good. And in American trials, I'm learning that they almost weaponize their their um, yes. their evidence and their witnesses and they will decide based on how a trial is going yes. who they're going to have they have to give the court 48 hours notice right but they can move things oh, okay. around so they can yeah, decide they can i didn't even know that stuff. yeah well originally i am told johnny Depp was going to give evidence this week yeah we and they've made that some he'd be in the courtroom today and then it didn't happen so well he was in the courtroom today. Oh, not in the courtroom, but like the, at, on the stand yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. um yeah. no exactly and because it was going to be jury Opening statements, Johnny yeah. Depp giving evidence in chief. Yeah. Didn't happen. We had oh Lord, don't get elevator footage. Opening statement yesterday. We can kind of bond over that though. We'll yeah. always have yeah. the yeah. afternoon we spent reviewing elevator footage from 2016 in which nothing happened. Yeah, and wondering where our lives were. Yeah. What our lives were. <laughs> well, look, Christian Taylor, thank you so much yeah. for coming on and, and, and doing my yeah, third no park bench interview. I'm, yeah. I'm quite enjoying meeting people and having a little right. chat and, and just getting their perspectives on things. Have you traveled far to be here, both of you? Yeah, kind of. Where have you yeah. come from? Um, she's from Chicago and I'm from Ohio. Oh, wow. Yeah. And yeah. how long are you staying for? Until um, Friday. So, okay, yeah. Friday so morning, tomorrow yeah. is the last day of evidence you're going to see. Yeah. And then I guess it's back. on, I guess you can watch it on the internet. Yeah. Follow the live tweets. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'd like to come back if yeah. I can. Yeah. I remember, I remember in the UK, even in the boring stuff, I was getting such a reaction from doing the tweets because I was the only person doing oh, it, yeah. you know, because there were were, no, yeah. now it's on TV. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. doing the live tweets thinking anyone who wants to can watch this only people who are clinically insane are watching this yeah, <laughs> after right. three hours of oh it my God, yeah. what am I doing with my life but no I'm sure things will change and it'll yeah, have definitely. a very different dynamic in a couple of days yeah. and sometimes you know like reading it I know some people like they'd rather like read the statement and then instead of watch it because yeah. we found out because what we do is we watch on our phones in the back kind of trying to clock when um court tv's over right and when it's wrapped up that johnny's coming out ah, i see so yeah okay by that did time, you catch a glimpse today yeah we did we waved I, him he waved how, to us yeah yeah okay actually yeah. sorry i forgot before we go you've met isaac barouche yeah yes. we met isaac what's he like in the flesh <laughs> same as on the witness stand <laughs> i can imagine really cool guy. he was He's cool to sweet. talk to very sweet and that yes. accent i mean yeah. you know okay i mean maybe it's maybe you hear it a lot but i don't hear no. an accent like that every day you know, no so. yeah what was it you said i don't kiss both cheeks i'm from brooklyn yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you said i'm not european yeah i'm not european yeah. i'm from brooklyn i'm not european yeah. <laughs> that was great well there you go another park bench interview done and dusted wasn't it nice to meet taylor and Krista. That's it for reporting Depp v. Her. Just to tell you that Laurel Anderson will be taking the stand uh, tomorrow in day four of Depp v. Her at Fairfax County Court and also Kate James. Now Kate James was the former assistant of Amber Heard who had some pretty derogatory things to say about her in court in 2020. I don't know whether she'll even be allowed to repeat them given some of the allegations that she made. So it's certainly going to make for an interesting examination and cross-examination. And if you have time, look for my appearance on Court TV, which is taking place live at 8 o'clock Eastern time uh, here in America. Um, but I think will be probably clipped up and uh, turned into a link, which I will circulate wherever I can. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and do like and subscribe and make comments and all those things because it is nice to get some feedback. Um, especially after this this afternoon. <laughs>
it wasn't fun, believe me. All right, take care. Bye-bye.